check this into the patient's mouth. Place it easily, gently. Any pain? Fear? No, okay. Once this is placed, okay, let me just show you this. Okay, I'm going to just angle it a little bit and correct the light there a little bit. When you check the vestibule for examination, you can lift up the lip like this. But when you're checking for vestibule depth, you need to look at it with the lip out because the patient can at best move it out. He can never flare it up like that. Okay, so you can check it like this. So you place your tray and then holding the cheek out like that, you want to see if there is space between the tray and the tissue. I can see my buccal frenum is open, but as I see, the posterior part of my tray is really just there. I maybe need to reduce a little bit there. So I'm going to get a pencil and mark it out. Okay. Okay. Can you just hold it now? Just hold the cheek for me. Come in, come in here. No? Okay, come. come. Okay. So in this region, if you pull it up, it looks like there is space. If you pull it out a little bit, yeah, you see that it's contacting. So this region, maybe you want to reduce a little bit. Okay, relax, relax. Here also, in the anterior region, you see there is contact. So you want to reduce a little bit. The frenum looks trapped. The base of the frenum is actually here. And you see the frenum is, the base is trapped inside. So maybe you want to open it up a little bit here. Yes. Okay. When you come to this side also, if you pull it up like this, it looks like there is space, but if you pull it down, pull it out rather. Just hold, just hold here. Yep. Here, here, huh? Can you just support uh, with the finger inside? Okay. Uh, it thinks okay, just this corner maybe. The frenum is open and the posterior is all right. So I'm not going to do any other corrections. Just going to open it up a little bit here. A little bit in this region. It'll open up the frenum and a little here. That should be it.